Okay, we have seen everything for Junior Eurovision so far, and it has been a very interesting show. We are here before the recap is released, and I think there, is, there isn't a clear winner this year, and this is the true uh, interesting part of this edition 2023. Mm, I'm looking forward to see what's going on, because I don't know even what to do with my own top. I don't know what song is better than the other, and I don't know how to place every entries in my personal top from 16 to the first one. So let's see in the next recap how each representative have been doing up to my opinion. I'll let you know right now. Okay, Spain is, was the, bad, the first one competing tonight and oh my god, it's a shame because I think we have a lot of power this year and mm, maybe we get a little bit lost. I'm afraid of that. Let's see what finally happens in the final voting but I wish Spain would have performed later because mm, I don't know, there has been several entries that have stand out so much and I'm a bit afraid of Spain, yeah, but uh, they all have been amazing. You can check out here Spain, how great Sandra Valero has done tonight and those dancers and are doing great. This is such an upbeat song and I hope people reward it. And Malta, such, a, such an amazing voice female voice but there are many female voices tonight and I think she can be also a little bit lost performing second mm. okay here Anastasia is doing amazing she has come from Ukraine with all of her cuteness and she has performed some manga or yeah uh, anime staging and she can do great and Ireland such a high quality contestant with Wow, great vocalist as well behind her and this is very authentic and it could be very mm, rewardable from juries. So, okay, UK UK has stand out so much and I think it has been the biggest grower in me because I wasn't supporting UK so much this year and here they have demonstrated that they can perform amazing and they can be a true contenders to win. Uh, North Macedonia, mm, I'm so sad for the North Macedonia because uh, they could have done a more, more powerful staging and she deserves more, so Estonia, what a big, big surprise tonight because mm, I mean she has a lot of energy and hooks in that song, this is kind of dramatic and she's performing with excellent vocals. Armenia, she's going to get a lot of support from Televote. Every Armenian is on, he's holding them back and they're going to get a lot of support from other countries. They have a lot of personality. Poland, Poland has introduced a lot of images from her young ages and I think it's so clever, so smart because um, it's a big hook for people to create nostalgia and to vote for her. Georgia, my favorites before the live show, and they are still my favorites, I think. Mm, how such a masterpiece would be uh, underrated in the live performances when they sing that good live? They are still my favorite ones. Portugal has also done better than expected, telling a story that I personally believe is something related to feminism and women power, and I wish the best for her. France, France, an amazing host this year and she's going to get a lot of support, I'm sure about that and maybe we're watching the fourth victory of France in only three years, um, let's see, Albania, maybe the best vocalist this year, uh, I thought it would be Malta but actually Albania has performed great, more natural, more more angry camera shots and great Albania. Italy, Italy, uh, what to say about Italy? I mean, mm, they have performed amazing and actually they could have come with a better song, but let's see also what happens. And Germany, I love her story. I love what's behind this entry, that true love she feels for her sister. And this is why she is singing with sign languages as well. This has to be very high. 
and Netherlands it has been the best mm, finishing for tonight show and <laughs> this is just so uplifting right and maybe they're there to win tonight uh, let's see okay wow there have been many 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 good entries tonight and I actually don't know how to rank them uh, I would say um, the best ones have been let me think Oh, the many songs have been amazing tonight. Maybe the song that is going to be in the bottom is going to be Malta. And it's totally on contrary my expectations. Um, also, what to say? Um, Armenia has standed out a lot, but I don't know if enough to watch her as a clear winner of tonight. And also France, great France, as always. Spain has done amazing, but I'm, I'm a lot of. I have a lot of fear that maybe uh, f Spain is get is getting a little bit lost tonight because we have performed the first ones. Also, um, Albania and Estonia has been the two ballads that have standed out so much tonight, and they're going to get a good result. I think they honestly deserve. Uh, what else to tell you? I think mm, Georgia, my biggest favorite tonight, will get a result, a decent result, but I don't know if, if it would be enough to win. I'm so sad for it because I expected them to win and they honestly deserve that, but... Uh, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know, I'm totally lost this year because... You don't know what to ha what's going on afterwards because uh, Televote, it's so weird <laughs> in Junior Eurovision because, you know, we have three, three um, countries to vote and we vote for our country and our favorite, but the other vote gets a little bit uh, misunderstood and it can change everything. So let's see what happens. I'll connect with you all in the voting, maybe in the next video, okay? So, see you. Bye!